Well, it's me again. Um, you might remember me from about five months ago, before I got COVID, and then Beady fella took over, but he went on holiday last week, so I've taken the opportunity to get the chair back, and now I'm fully in charge of Saints again. So let's see what I've been doing while he's been away. Okay, time to come clean. Obviously it's still me, but yeah, the beard's gone. I just looked in a mirror while I was away and thought, I don't like it anymore. It didn't look good in my opinion. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, what did you last see us do? You last saw us beat Sunderland, didn't you? 3-1. Now, game after that, how they got three, I will never know. Uh, the first one was very lucky. It, hit a defender and looped up over the goalkeeper who would have stopped it <clears throat> um, but yeah we were all over United in this game, Shelder have had one of his magnificent days and yeah 5-3 flattered them to be perfectly honest and with the added delicious cherry on top of Bruno Horseshow Fernandez getting sent off for basically nothing as well I didn't see what he did to get the second booking but didn't stop me wetting myself laughing at him. Um, then, disappointing, this game, basically, I mean, you can see by the ratings there, no one really covered themselves in glory, and it wasn't exactly full strength. Um, we had about 16 shots, I think. Two of them were on target. That was the problem. Uh, we just weren't hitting the target enough. We dominated the game, basically. They didn't do a lot, but... It was a disappointing uh, first Europa League defeat. Uh, then, trip to Burnley. Basically played the first team um, because I knew the game, the Rangers game was, was coming up. Uh, Jamie Lawrence got his sixth goal of the season from yet another corner. Lavia got a couple. Vitor Roque apparently has finally hit double figures. He's not been quite what we wanted this season. Um, beginning to get tempted if we get like 100 million pound offers for him maybe saying yes and putting Andreas Shelder up up front because we've got a surfeit of talent on those flanks and we can move people around quite happily anyway um, again more comfortable than 4-2 makes it look uh, their first goal mile offside wouldn't show me an angle where I could see it though um, and then yeah Rangers we weren't greats first half. I shouted at them at half time. They bucked up second half. Scarlet nodded in um, from very close range um, after a bit of a sort of kerfuffle from a corner. And Aribas got uh, thumped in the second one. Um, good left footed finish. And yeah, Europa League wise, we are through. We have finished, I think, fourth. Um, yeah, Nice just crept above us. Chelsea and Spudheads Boyds um, have got, uh, got the top places, but that doesn't really matter, does it? Because, you know, through is through, basically. And we were through before we played Rangers. Uh, so, yeah, we get a nice buy, which is two games that I don't have to rotate the side for, which is very nice. As you can see in the league, we are still second, which is good, because we did make those promises that I said about last time to two players who bids had come in for. Um, I think transfer deadline day is, is it tomorrow? Uh, yes, transfer deadline day is tomorrow. Uh, we haven't really done much in the way of business. We have signed a lad called Luis Acosta, who I think we had to bid in for last time. Uh, we've sent a number of people out on loan, including Luis Acosta, um, who was happy to go out on loan. He, the part of the promises we made him was that we would send him out on loan this season, so I'm fine with that. Um, and yeah, we've got a few others. I mean, Jao Fonseca, who was part of the depth at centre back, um, has gone out on loan, but I'm probably going to bring um, Rav Vandenberg up into the squad. Uh, hopefully, we'll get away with that and have space for him. Uh, in the in the Premier League squad with any luck. If not, we're just going to have to go a little bit light on that front. So, yeah, we've got, I say, several people out on, 
loan. We haven't really brought anyone else in because we haven't got the money left anymore after the Lewis Bent deal. Lewis Bent has played his first game um, and he very nearly got an assist. It was disallowed, unfortunately. Um, and it would have been Alex Navalon's um, first goal for the club had it counted. Uh, but sadly, it did not. Now, all of which brings us to, if I click back through, today's uh, games. We really would like to not lose this at the very least. Um, winning, obviously, would be huge because that would get us like a 10-point gap between fifth. Although the way the coefficients are in Europe at the moment, I think fifth place would probably get Champions League anyway. And we are going with the three in central midfield because they tend to play the 4-3-3 that we normally play. So I want to try and outnumber them in that central midfield like we try to. Right, let's go. I'm not expecting much from away Arsenal. Um, the Valencia result was slightly disappointing in that it was an end of a 20-game unbeaten run in all competitions, which I got a little achievement for, which was nice on um, Steam. Uh, but domestically, of course, we are still unbeaten for a very long time. So it would be a shame to lose that here. Uh, pump fists. Yep. Put on a worthy display. Come on, Vittal. You haven't done anywhere near enough in recent months. Ever since he stopped winning Young Player of the Month awards. He's kind of given... I don't know if he's not eligible anymore and he's just given up trying to win them or what. But, yeah. He's not been quite the same player this season as he was last season or in the previous two. Well, that's a blooming good start, boys. Well done. Carved open in 20 seconds. There's chickens who put up a better fight than that. Average Sunday roast doesn't get carved open quite that quickly, does it? Let's be honest. Right. Okay. I'm shouting demand more already. You're obviously clearly just going to be second best for this lot all day. So I will just shout at you from the sidelines. Not sure if James Ward Prowse is playing today. Didn't really check their lineup, have to say. Okay, Lavia, no, tries to get it through and hit over the top. One quick ball. Good save, Karnaseki. Oy, oy, oy. Right, hang on a second. Let's try and sort that out by dropping that line back a bit and pressing slightly less high. Let's, let's not give them quite as much space to get behind us if we can. How much that works, I don't know, because very often in this game you drop, try and drop back and you end up with like 40 yards of space behind your centre-backs for no apparent reason. Right, we have basically literally done nothing so far. Um, can't clear the ball either. Oh, that's a mile. He's a, I'm going to say he was an absolute mile off. Not that that bothers them against Burnley. Right, I'm going to berate you because you've literally done sod all so far. And it's not like most of you aren't going to get the week off next week against Lincoln, is it? Let's be honest. Oh my god, why are you, why are you putting that... Why did you deliver that to him so early? Hold it, calm it down. Right, slow the pace down. Good god. And don't ignore that instruction. Next time you get the ball, if you roll it out quick, I'm going to thump you at half-time. I might just specifically throw a water bottle at you for being stupid and ignoring my instructions. Of course, at the moment, that instruction hasn't quite gone through, so it has to be after this highlight. What is that? Oh, no, I'll just nod it on pointlessly for nobody. Being as you're supposed to be the most advanced player on that side of the pitch, who did you think was up there? Yep, see, there he goes again. Somebody kick the ball out so that instruction can kick in. Right, if you do it now, Karnaseki, you are getting a beating. 
There is a water bottle heading your way if I see you roll that ball out that quickly again. I am telling you now, Sunshine. I don't care what it does. Oh yes, by the way, we're being berated again, boys. Just so you know, because completely unacceptable. I mean, yeah, we're expecting them to dominate us. They are supposed to be better than us. Although league position would kind of... <sighs> why have you been so bad? This is why I don't understand. Why so bad? Why absolutely nothing? We are capable of playing against this lot. We can beat this lot. We beat them in a cup final last season. They are not miles better than us. They are simply better than us at home. We haven't gone there half yet and still haven't. They aren't this good. If they were, they wouldn't be fifth, would they? You're all getting a water bottle thrown at you no matter what happens at half time now. Because all these zeros here. Oh wow. One shot. From God knows where by the look of it. Not even on target. Oh good. What are you going to do right before? Why isn't this half over? Is that of interest? Oh there we go. Look at that. Right. Come here you lot. Throw the water bottle. You have been absolutely awful. And Diego Moreira, get off that pitch. Get off that pitch, you useless waste of space. And actually, you can get off as well, Vittor. You've been naff all use. Right, Aribo on. Right, triple subject at half time. Am I getting the message across as how really annoyed I am with how bad that first half was? Because we aren't that bad, boys. We are second in the league for a reason. We are a good side. That is not a performance from a good side, is it? Right, I'm just going to berate you again, just because you've started badly again anyway. You may as well take the day off, son. It ain't coming your way anytime soon. Yes. That's, that's what we needed to do. Take their shots for them. Seems to be the only way we're actually going to take a shot today. Oh my word. Oh, just, st just stand there. Just stand there. It's fine. Good God. Are we allowed up here? Oh no, it's fine. It was just a cross so they could start a counter attack. It's all right, boys. Don't worry yourselves. Oh my God. Arsenal players having sympathy for us now, are they? Oh no. No. What is going What is happening here? What is this highlight? Is it even a highlight? Is anything going to happen? Because so far we've given it to their goalkeeper twice. Oh, here we come. Here's the real meat and potatoes of it. Yep, brilliant. Well done. He's offside. He's offside. Don't start celebrating. He is offside. We're appealing for offside because he was offside. You give this goal. There you go. Thank you. Yes, we know full well he was offside. Hey, we've got the ball in there half. That's a goal. It's got to count for something, isn't it? You get a point for that or something? Oh, come on, it's T and E. Can't stop him, just kick him. I will care, he's Scottish. What did I tell you about kicking Tierney? I told you to do it, didn't I? And you didn't. Right, berate again. Can I throw water bottles from here? Is there any chance of that? Right, I'm sorry. We're just going to pause this. I, I don't know if I'm just inviting this on because I did that, because I didn't like what you were doing. Right, let's just trigger the press. Let's close that down. Let's just try and close you down and actually get a ball in some way, shape or form, possibly in your half. Because at the moment, I think it's been outlawed. 
You're going to come, Karnaseki. Pick the ball out of the air. Right, you're going to get a water ball thrown at you again because it, yet again you've still had one pathetic shot from nowhere. Oh, this is the worst performance we've done all season. This is shockingly bad. Well, you can't say they haven't earned it, can you? Apologies, everyone, but blow me. In. I'm finding it very difficult not to swear at the moment. I really am. I, I can't take all of you off, can I? Much as I'd like to. I'll take you off so you don't get yourself sent off like an idiot. Right, Garner, get on for him because he's playing appallingly badly as, as well. We had the ball in their box for a second then and thought better of it. Way! That's a highlight for us! That is a highlight for us, is it? Oh, that was actually a shot, was it? It looked like a ball into the box. Right, sod it. I'm going attacking. I don't care. We're going suicidal. If you're going to lose and you're going to play this badly, you're going to get slaughtered. Quite frankly, like you deserve to be. And actually, I'm probably going to have to take that off now because there's no point you slowing the pace down with us two goals down, is there? Really? Let's be honest. Right, we're actually going to switch back to that as well. Because you know it's slightly better. 0 0.04 xg i mean that is just pathetic absolutely pathetic i mean the, the fact that karnaseki is actually playing a 7.5 despite having two goals stuck past him just tells you how bad you lot have been out there doesn't it is there any chance i can get Karnaseki to sort of leave the room before I do the main team talk so that he doesn't get the water bottle thrown at him and then the rest of you can sit there and be slapped around the face with one let's berate them again I'm not even watching now I'm just wondering what I'm going to shout next This is the sort of thing where if you could just, if you could write your own team talks, I could be here for half an hour. Oh God, that might be another shot, boys. Way, three shots. We've doubled our XG. Please tell me you're not time wasting. You could be scoring more goals here, Arsenal. If you had your head screwed on. I mean, this is just sensationally bad way to end your unbeaten domestic run, this is, isn't it? I mean, at least the Valencia game, when we ended the actual unbeaten run properly, it was, you know, because we didn't hit the target, we didn't put our chances away. This, what chances? You've done nothing. Absolutely nothing. Right. Okay, people. Uh, yeah, Karnaseki, you should be frustrated. I am throwing the water bottle. I expect to see you in training tomorrow. Individuals, Karnaseki, you were excellent tonight. Well done. Rest of you, I'm just going to say I'm furious. I'm furious. And you weren't good enough in front of goal. I don't care what your reaction to that is and let's face it there's too much green on there for you to know that you didn't play well <sighs> imagine if they do that against lincoln think how happy i'll be then i'll see you there right we are back for the fa cup fourth round home lincoln uh it's a very changed side andre gomez who's normally our under 21 goalkeeper has been given the start because frankly i'm fed up with livakovic um 
we've got a few other youngsters in there. Alex Navalon's getting a start. Rui Palmer, hopefully, will get him some game time. Um, so, yeah, but that is a side more than capable of dealing with Lincoln City, who are mid-table League One opposition. Um, transfer deadline day has come and gone. I turned down a couple of bids. Jamie Lawrence has got bent out of shape, but I didn't let him go to RB Leipzig. Um, I haven't spoken to him about it yet. I'm putting that off because I'm trying to avoid actually actively upsetting him for as long as possible. But, yeah, and now we've got, well, actually now four players who are upset that they got left out of the Europa League squad um, because I've just spoken to Alderete and he understood that, you know, place is limited and that sort of stuff. I mean, there are plenty of them that I would quite like in that squad, but I can't get everyone in it. So, you know... It's the basic maths that these people don't seem to be able to comprehend that worries me. But then, you know, footballers. Um, right. Okay. Let's go. Um, and let's hope that we actually, you know, play football today. Because... I know I got annoyed and quite ranty against Arsenal but the reason for that was the appalling performance I could take being beaten not even turning up totally unacceptable I mean I'm gonna say I expect a much better performance to be fair most of you weren't in that game so you can't be blamed for the absolute well I mean a performance is putting it very strongly isn't it you were there you saw did you see a performance I didn't. I saw Arsenal play some football by default because we didn't. Pretty much had to really, otherwise no one was going to. Anyway. <sighs> Let's see if we can use this and get into the fifth round as we defend our trophy. Oh, nice turn from Erebo who... Yeah, we... <laughs> We are going to need to do something over the summer, I think, about the central midfield because the, like, the central midfield attacking sort of position is kind of set. We've got some good young talent there, but we haven't got a lot in the sort of like advanced playmaker role because Lo Celso and Aribo are both 30 now. Uh, Verratti's retiring. And we haven't really got a lot else. I mean... Yeah, I mean, that, that is basically our, our starting three in that role. So we're going to have to bring someone in or bring some youth through. Um, right, let's, let's throw out a bit of encouragement before I start shouting at them for not hitting the target. Okay, it's a corner. Of course, we haven't got Jamie Lawrence on the pitch today. I did actually get a... Um, loan bid for one of my under 21s forwards from Lincoln on deadline day but I thought probably best not to actually I mean I could have stopped him playing against us obviously but I thought knowing my luck if I loan him out he'll go and score the only goal of the game or something stupid so um, right come on boys Again, we're having one of those not hitting the target days, and we know what happened against Valencia. Admittedly, Valencia are somewhat better. Rebo seems to think it's rugby. I mean, I'm going attacking, because why not? We seem to be utterly dominating the game. There we go, Leo Grimal. And I think also defensive midfield, um, we've got Esugo out on loan, who is doing very well in Liga 1, I think he's playing in at the moment. And Neuhaus, who I sort of kind of panic bought because I, need, I wanted more depth. Oh my lord, Gomez. Got away with that, didn't you? Um, I think he's going to go in, in the summer and Esugo will be brought just basically into the squad. Uh, with the added advantage, I think he might qualify for sort of certain bits of 
um, homegrownness for Europe next season. And trust me, I am going to be really disappointed if we don't get into Europe next season in one shape, way, shape, or form. Oh, look at that. A Dominic Calvert Lewin hat trick for Spudhead's boys. Well, it, I mean, we are gradually basically declining there, aren't we, in, in terms of domination? Lincoln are edging their way into this game more and more. Um. You go in behind, boys, and you are going to get a hot water bottle thrown at you. And it's not just going to be like the normal water bottle. It will be a hot one. And it might not be sealed. So the, what I'm saying, basically, is scalding water is heading your way if you don't buff your ideas up. We're at two on target now. Well, hey! Oh, there you go, you see. The threat of being uh, scalded literally and figuratively um, but it's scalded and scalded isn't it I know what I mean <clears throat> I mean I have literally actually forgotten we were winning it's been that sort of non-entity of a performance but okay. Grimal seems to be the only one prepared to actually have shown up today Really? Oh, they're stealing a lot, are they? Oh. Right. Uh, I'm not particularly happy with that performance. I do hope you're not. Now, what I want to do is just... Uh, yeah, you see, yeah, mm, cutting the side with ball. See, runs with ball down left yeah you see that's not helpful is it it's going to affect him out there mm. if I ask them to cross more often are they going to do that mm. uh, now what about you yeah see so you've got cut inside with ball so that's well, no, you haven't got cutting inside with ball. You probably should have. But you're not going against cutting inside with, with the ball. Um, hmm. Right, I don't think there's going to be anything much going on there. Right, well, Navalon, you're playing League One opposition. I expect better. Wow. Is it just me or did Navalon just clear that? I mean, we are attacking that way, aren't we? And he was like through in between them and actually physically cleared it. Oh, good God. So that's the sort of thing you get from your league opposition. You can't get away with, boys. And if you let this be their attack, I am not going to be happy. And I will chuck a quick berate out. Was he on? The Loki Doki established tagline, I believe, you football manager. Was he on? It looks like he was, apparently. Yep. Well, I mean, that's that's going to boost your XG, isn't it? Having a shot from there. Okay. Yeah, Norwich winning. Okay, Man City are winning. Yeah, it's it's going to get a bit tougher after this one, isn't it? Fortunately, we don't have a game for a week. We've actually got, like, just sort of games at weekends hey look at that palmer brought down could be something useful come on look at a penalty all day there you go all right who's taking this today omar alderete wow 
got to be his first of the season, yeah, there we go. He's hardly played all season. Well, there we are. It does make me wonder, I mean, <sighs> because I'm, I really like Lawrence over there, and because playing Lawrence means Le Normand gets shoved over to the other side, I'm just wondering whether Alderete really, if he's a penalty-taking threat as well, could I put him and Lawrence out there and just upset Le Normand, basically? I think this, this squad does need a little bit of trimming. Because obviously we end up with lots of upset people because they can't get in the side. Uh, so, yeah, I think it, it's going to be a, a fairly busy summer. Avalon! Hey! First goal for the club. Garner, lovely ball through, Navalon gets away from the defender, and I don't know what angle the goalkeeper's going at there. Facing the front would have been, would have been helpful, wouldn't it? But not for me to complain, quite frankly. Oh, Rymel. I mean, second half, after they got basically shouted at and told I wasn't happy. I don't see why it needs me to do that, though. That's that's my problem. Surely I should be getting the message across in training that I really want them to actually... Oh, hello, nearly scored again. Um, <clears throat> you know, play to their potential and to their ability. I shouldn't have to wait until half-time when they've spent 45 minutes not really doing that. And then they get full on shouted at in a small enclosed room for, you know, this to actually sink in. Yeah, well, I mean, they're just, just, just going to play the, the game. Most of you aren't exactly starters, although, again, like I say, I am wondering about Alderete. Right. Well, that was nice and comfortable. We will very quickly pop back for the fifth round draw in a minute. Okay, here we go. Last 16. Oh, good. Everton got Wester. Okay, second out of the hat. QPR. I will take it. That is eminently winnable. Uh, what else we got? Oh, Arsenal Man City. Sweet. Um... Yeah. Could have got a lot worse draw there. So, yep, I will happily take QPR at home. I think what we'll be doing is we will certainly be coming back for the Europa League round of 16. We don't know who we've got yet. We'll see who we get and we will see if we can get into the quarterfinals of that one. Hopefully, we'll already be in the quarterfinals of the FA Cup again. Right. <clears throat> well, Thank you very much for joining me. Um, apologies for the rants. Apologies for those who liked the beard that is now gone. And I will see you next time for some Europa League action. Bye-bye for now.